to wait a little bit, then smoke to go for a first blood, in which that always can massively change how it maps a mistake, like catching Morphling off guard and stunning him before he gets the, the attribute shift off. Without that, um, there'll be a lot of trading, but... Oh, the bottom potential. lane, he is out of resources. This might be our first blood, and it is for the Miracle Anti-Mage. Jabs almost gets the skewer just off the mark. I mean, that's the... Changed anything. Top lane's kind of silent. Uh, it's hard, it, like you said, it's hard to kill this hero, but bottom lane, they're gonna get aggressive here onto Miracle. He does have a blink, a Lotus, and four wand charges, so he's actually just gonna stand his ground, trying to bring down Jabs the Frostbite out from Kuroki and Jabs. Switching uh, targets? Like Kuro might be the one to pick up the kill. He's like, who's gonna get me? He's gonna get the no denied. Way, denied. No way, dude! Miracle, Miracle? hold up, Q? Dude, what just happened in this bottom lane? I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. You baited yourself. I think they got a little greedy. If the tower gets left alone. But for now, we'll just wait and see. Ollie, actually, going to get glimpsed right back into Sumail. The split earth will connect, and that is a ton of damage found from the Edict. So it would be an amazing rune for the Razor, especially now that Stampede is down. So yeah. they do manage to pick it up. Sumail was low from clearing a triple stack earlier and didn't feel like he could contest a Rubik. And yeah, with haste, you might actually be able to run down anti-mage. Oh, bottom lane. We're going to see them get aggressive here onto the Magnus. Mana Void comes out from Miracle, ends up finishing the job. Ollie does have a lot of damage here, but not going to be able to connect. And a glimpse will find Q, sets him up for potentially two kills onto Miracle. Now Sumail grabs it himself. Really good finds from Nigma. Now up to a 3,000 gold lead already. The mag pick could have worked, but through the laning, he's fallen behind, and I think this is where we're going to start doing the pressure for Aurora. Yeah. I think, honestly, Aurora looked at this and decided, all right, yeah, let's just farm. You know, we have the, the Razor into Lesh. Uh, we'll have, you know, a Morphling, who's pretty good. Lorna's going to get glimpsed right into Sumail again. A beautiful setup here. He's trying to get saved. Jabs can't do anything about it. He's not level six yet, but a stomp Wait. out from all. He makes a ton of space. The Stampede as well gets thrown. As the Morphling trying to finish off Matthew on the backside, managed to do some Akuro with a huge freeze triple and kill. a triple kill. Morphling's got to clean up. Jab still level five. Going to chase down this Crystal Maiden, but in comes Miracle. 23 dodges out the split. Earth gets glimpsed instead. He's going to go ahead, try to do his best to the Diabolic Edict stolen, doing a decent amount of work. Jab's finally level six with a nice RP, but 23's out of resources, and it's going to be chased down by this anti-mage. A beautiful rotation in from them. He's not done. Stomp comes through. They managed to protect the shield rune for the moment, but Sumail will still manage to grab it. Right where he goes for Skewer. Just put him back so much. And you can see just the net worth. Like, Crystal Maiden, only like three, 400 gold behind the Magnus. Not a good sign, as he's just Blink been reveal. given a mid lane to farm. Yeah, Blink Reveal top lane out from FBZ. Managed to find Ollie. A very nice pickup. Yeah, it's going to get to the tower. Maybe... I think the thing right now Aurora really needs is the BKB on the Razor. But I, I talked about this earlier. Disruptor is like one of the hardest counters for this hero. And it's going to support, right? They're going to be a nice blink stomp out into the split earth. And Lornov is dead again. It, it's it, You get a glimpse onto the Razor. And so he he's, you know, tank. He's fast. And like Storm Surge is a nice ability for sure. But... They're looking for Miracle here in the jungle. Unfortunately for them, there is a ward. And 23 Savage is like, uh, I found him. Steals the blink, looking after him. The rest of the team in pursuit. They've got a ward that does scout him. Jab, blink, no, the RP just barely misses. Oh, I was watching the cooldown on these. Oh, this is so rough. They're still chasing, but I mean, I don't, they don't have another stun. Now for that, Nigma is going to try to make their own play. They know they extended far for that, but fortunately, some observers are scouting this. Nigma gets they the lose D the observer, ward. Though. Yeah, twenty three is in trouble. He's going to have to wait for him dodge, but he can't. Beautiful stomp from FBZ. The follow up is so easy from there. Stomp out from Ollie. Earth Splitter does catch Sumail, but of course, the Stampede makes plenty of space. He just turns around onto the Magnus instead. Jabs, no shot at all. Miracle and aggressive, like another two hero stomp out from Centaur. The supports, no chance. The glimpse, the chase, the control. It's all there. Enigma chopping them down one by one. This game's looking rough, dude.
Nigma is very excited to be back at the international stage. They are <laughs> time farm up the items they need. Probably like uh, Manta's done on like Battle Fury Manta at 18 minutes. Oh, Bottom lane. Oh, they want him. He does not have a way for him. He's coming right back, dude. One by one. More blink. Doing his best to try and strength morph out of this one, but it's just not possible. You've got this veil uh, picked up on FBZ very early. He is tower diving on his own here. <laughs> he's he's just setting up for more kills. He's like, hey, uh, I found another, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm crystal made. Powerful. Okay, he's, he's trying to hide it a little it. bit. Yeah. They do have blink RP again. This has to connect. You have I mean, to. They're about to just blink kill. on jabs instead. Matthew's just going to trap him here. FBZ can follow it up. He does exactly that. Lorenum goes in. Does get the static link on top of him. Pulls him back. But the Razor got glimpsed. He didn't BKB it. The skewer back. Pulls Sumail into a pretty awkward spot. They've got to be able to bring him down here. If you he don't, so it's a disaster. Strong, He's so strong. You're right. 23. Close the gap. They get him with a stolen strong, split earth. But <laughs> you lost the Morphling. Jabs by his back here. RP still available. Lorna doing his best to try and find these kills. But he just can't go any further. FBZ blinking one second, Skewer pulls Miracle, you know, about an inch further into the base, but it's not enough. Roots onto jabs, oh. RP off the mark again. Four dead on Aurora, four Skewer back, and an RP, and, you know, we have, like, three BKBs. We'll get him again. You move like a Step one, sacrifice Rubik. Step two... Get Wisdom Rune. No, oh, FBZ steals it. Oh the my plan. god. <laughs> the two step plan it's is over. <laughs> oh no. Jabs. About to meet Disruptor. As Dude, I want to just point out really quick uh, Jabs is in a, in, in the, what we'd like to refer to as the danger zone right now. Uh, Matthew has been destroying Aurora on this Disruptor. He has had an incredible game. I think Aurora knew that, and maybe they were trying something here. It fell a little flat, and so it looks worse than maybe whatever they had in Visions, but uh, they need a cleaner plan for this Lesher. I mean, Bandit maybe? Oh, the three-year-old Static Storm! You're kidding me, Matthew! Just locking them all in. Kuro, he's gonna go down. Jabs gets the RP on the left. Lorna of is still very strong here on this Razor. The BKB is expiring. Yule's gonna buy him a little bit of time as Miracle pushes him away. And now they will turn their attention back on to Jabs. The aggressive blink forward. Yeah, and there's the GG. You're right, dude. It is, it's over. It, no chance. 26,000 behind at 22 minutes. An absolute masterclass from Nigma. Nigma's back, guys. Chat, they've been waiting for this so badly. Aggressive potential, although time dilation did get nerfed. Um, just, he is a pretty solid carry when you have to pick something blindly here. You may now select. You need a baby. Oh, no, it's Sumail Arcord. It's going to be Miracle on the Wind Ranger. Okay, cool. So, a little bit can go a long way. It's just Kuro leaping one, doesn't make it, and jabs. He's going to be the one that gets the first blood in the bottom lane here. It's a bit yeah. of a surprising kill. With DK. Um, any help, though, just makes it that much easier. And so it's going to make it a little bit difficult for him up. to uh, do the damage. Matthew's oh. been patiently waiting here. He's there got he ice shards. Yeah, there's the oh, Tempest double. The te <laughs> it's so well done. And just like that, Dragon Knight, he's going to go down. Yeah, it's it's just a textbook play on the Arc Warden matchup. Very good rotation from Matthew. The shards absolutely perfect bottom lane so the fact that uh yeah you are losing a little bit of xp on your tusk and sumail just from like tanking the wave together but you're not accomplishing anything either on the side of aurora got Kuro in the mid lane there's that silence disarm combo easy Classic. pick up for them that's true I mean, it looks like they're just going to be stacking up here on Aurora a little bit. I remember when we watched these guys last time, they were like the stacking machines. Mm -hmm. uh, they were so good at it. I think a lot of it was the Shadow Demon. A lot of teams did, weren't really playing the Shadow Demon super aggressively. Mid lane, we're going to make the, the jump again here. Is the boat's going to come out? But with the TP in from 23, it doesn't look like they want to get too aggressive. But the X is going to pull Lorna back in, and Sumail's just destroying him. The Chrono catches two. Is they're going to be able to find maybe FPZ here on the Kunkka, but a focus fire up from... 
Ops Miracle. He's just gonna be able to chase down 23 Savage on the backside. He's got a Javelin. You can't escape falling one by one on Aurora. They're looking for jabs next. The damage from the tag team is just way too much. Triple kill for the Wind Ranger as Enigma get a massive win here in this mid lane. One for four, and now you're mid tower under pressure a lot of resources into the mid lane but it's such an easy response for enigma to deal with it moonlight shadow comes out in the top lane they're looking for these supports matthew level six did get vision of one the torrent from fbz catches 23 the snowball it's available he can't get out he's trying to run sumails here as well there's gonna be the snowball into arrow time walk in one but the vessel's out the x to pull him right back into the boat they get the big kill I can't believe he's be also a very tanky guy. This he picked up mail, Seeds of Serenity, has Double Bracer, Blade Mail, Phase Boots, Raindrops. It's it's going to bring the whole team here, four heroes, to try and bring him down. The arrow's not going to connect. Frostbite's followed up, and they do manage to bring down the big boy. That is Kunkka. I love this rotation. This this is four points Ink Swell. Kunkka can't get controlled up in these fights, so BKB is going to allow him to do that. We're going to see potentially another smoke here. Uh, Ward, actually on the back side, they don't know about this one. And it's going to give them the opening they need. The Blink Dragon Tail out here from Lorna, but guess what? The Vessel is out from Sumail. Lorna needs help. The X, the bow catches him. Inkswell did a spell. He just got his shard delivered the second that fight started. What a huge save. Absolutely yeah, Ward there off that Bottom lane. Team. We're going to see them get aggressive on the jabs. Matthew trying to get away. He might die. He does. But you get the big kill onto one. A huge Chrono out from Faceless Void. Sets up one onto uh, this Wind Ranger. And looking for Kunkka now as well. Kuro has gotten so much damage on him from this girl. Bash after bash. 23. My goodness. Under yeah, the window to do that was as he was finishing that creep Radiant wave. I thought they were going to catch him there, but um, I guess not they feeling see confident now, on that. The smoke now Kunkka's expires. there too. Actually, do they see Kunkka? He's like right at the edge of that observer. I mean, they're going to see Kunkka now, maybe? They still don't. They're like, oh, he's here, but no, it's Kunkka. I mean, still a very good kill if you can finish him off in time. Freezing field out from Ollie. Soulbind is there as well. Gonna leash up the Tusk for the backside. The arrow. Mariko with a great shackle brings down two. You get the Kunkka, but it's gonna cost you all three heroes on this rotation. Patience not rewarded here for Aurora. Not at they all. They waited definitely too long. That was, that was wild. But uh, a slight gold advantage now for Enigma as we're seeing Sumail finish up his Maelstrom. Continuing to farm is now mid lane. They're looking for 23. The chain stuns are there. Nice shards. Arrow to follow it up. The shackle as well. And they get him 23. There's only so many things you can do against these guys. And they will chase after Q. A pretty easy pick off there. Great follow up. Getting away from this team is so hard. Like that. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's space made. They're gonna they're gonna have the Gleipnir on Arc Warden now too. So Manta's not even gonna be enough. You're gonna you're gonna remove one, two more on the way. Are they gonna find Lorhan off here? Shackle did He's not connect. Trying to connect. TB. There's no way, right? Second Gleipnir and an arrow. Oh boy. That's a good one in bottom lane. Ranger. They're looking for 23 again. Torrent, the boat, he's holding the X. Wait for the pullback. Vessel's there. He might have to chrono just to get out, but blanket from Tusk and the chain stun's got him. Two massive kills on opposite sides of the map. The movement from Nigma is on point right now. Radiant. Uh, they have the blink on Grimstroke, so if they do get a good Soulbind initiate. I, they'll do the damage. That's just like a bit of the hard part. They're being oh, found here. But first. instead, Matthew just finds the Grimstroke. The Crone on the backside, not great. Only yeah, finds Kuro, it. but jabs. He was stuck in there the whole time as well. He's trying to get out, but no chance. BKB duration wasted. Faceless Void just TPs out. Like, sorry, bro. Three dead for Aurora. If necessary, now queuing up the Scythe of Ice, but. 
Yeah, Miracle has this Wind Run, and as Aegis expires, he's gonna go aggressive here, look for something. It's gonna be lore enough. Shackle steals the rune, and Tag Team comes through, trying to bring him down. A Shackle will come in. But the Gleipnir, nice dispel. Ollie, Crystal Clone into the freezing field. They might bring down Matthew. No, he gets a snowball. FBZ on the backside tries to take down the Grimstroke. They get him. Nobody dies on Nigma. They can't even find the Tusk. They're just playing so well. They just don't have enough hard stuns at this point. Like early on, like if you're winning, it's kind of fine the lineup you have. But now that you're behind. No. Rays are just going to get killed in a single shackle here. Yeah, no chance yeah. for TB with Matthew here as well. It's like you have to time the kill onto her between wind runs or find her before she gets the wind run off. We're going to look for Kuro here in the mid lane. The chain stun's there. He will go down. A nice pick as they're now looking for the invis rune. FBZ comes in. We'll just X himself out. He's like, never mind. I, I, I want none of this. This DK, you can have it. You find Kuro, but that kill doesn't really mean anything. That is, that was a five-man smoke from Aurora. Joking earlier when I said you don't care about Roche or the Aegis, which I think they can still take a fight and win, but it's it's also a little scary to do that. So they're opting to just try to rat force rotations. And they're gonna try and get twenty-three. Switch. They commit everything. Does he have? Oh, he could just Chrono Miracle, but the BKP is out. He's gonna try. The Chrono comes out. Does he have the damage to finish off the Wind Ranger? Q is there as well. Miracle's dead. <laughs> oh no! Matthew actually dropped his gem in the jungle too. Being, I am curious when they're gonna remove Ninja Gear. <laughs> I feel like it's it's gotta happen at some point. Smoked in the scan connects. Radiant, look at their. They they're still coming. They, they see Cube, they're like, that's not the target we want. Instead, he just walks up onto the high ground, and five heroes from Aurora are ready and waiting. Miracle, the BKB, trying to run away. Jabs is just standing his ground. Does not give up. Now it's Kunkka. FPC on the backside. has got to try and get away. His BKB is there. You don't have Chrono in 23. He does have... What? He has Chrono in one second. Dragon Tail's out, chasing down the Kunkka. This Dragon Knight's gonna make it very hard to get away. Now the Static Link as well from the Razor. The Snowball instead just gonna be used to survive. And that's two big kills for Aurora. And just like that, a 22,000 net worth game down to 13. Worked if you like X mark someone to go bait up That is a Chronosphere onto three. He's found the real Arc Ward and Matthew can't do anything about it. 23 deciding who his next victim is. Looking for Karoki instead will let him live, but Lornov not likely to let that slide on the backside. Matthew doing his best here to try and soak up as much damage as he can. Triple kill for 23, four dead on the side of Nigma with no buybacks. And your high ground is in a lot of trouble now. Tier two, I don't know if you have time to get another set after that. Oh, maybe they can defend this. Arnav has BKB. We'll just use the walk away. This, I mean, the link onto two. They're just going to go in aggressively and jabs with this static link. He's up to 200, almost 300 stolen damage. You got to be very careful. This guy's hitting real hard. Will he just turn his attention to the buildings? Oh, Gleipnir is out. Shackle onto Jabs. Inkswell to dispel. Looking at the damage. He turns it around. Jabs on a killing spree and now 23. The backdoor. There's your refresher for the faceless void. Jabs is like, that's, I, I mean, that looks pretty good. I want one of those. <laughs> I'm sure he just sells the Falcon Blade for it, right? I, I don't know if he, like, so one of them have to be carrying the gem. It's been lore enough previously, but he's gone in for an Orchid now. They see Kuro. They don't see Kuro. He gets the blink away, or the rather the jump away. Miracle instead. This would be a massive kill, but he's got backup behind him. Did I just hear a Dagon? Yeah, Kuro and Matthew both have Dagon oh, to deal with Lorna. Kunkka gets Snowball safe for the moment, but the Soulbind onto two and 23. He's just going to drop the Chrono. It ends up just catching the Tusk. Jabs on the backside, fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with Miracle. And Miracle's going to win that engagement. Tusk's going to buy back into the game. Grimstroke now trying to escape a Miracle. He's just dancing around this fight. He's looking for Ollie as well. He's got him 23. He's got a... A refresher Refresh available Chrono. goes in the second time walk into the Chrono. He gets win he gets Wind Ranger. He gets the Kunkka. A great pike though from Sumail will save FBZ and a snowball as well coming through. But Sumail, he's on top of him with this razor and he's got no way to go. Surrounded the Arc Warden will go down. 
Kunkka next on the chopping block. Triple kill for 23. Make it an ultra. He's looking for the rampage. Give it to the lad. He's got it. Now a stun, the Dragon Tail out. It is just a disaster. Nigma lose everything as the Roshan respawns. Did get nerfed, but I mean, you're still getting there. Oh, you get some damage out on 23. The Walrus Punch comes out. He silenced up. Is that his Aegis? It is just like that. Tusk trying to get to safety. Safe for the moment by a nice magnetic field, but 23 will finish him off. That is going to be a dieback. Chronosphere is out. He's got his attention set on this Wind Ranger. The second Chrono, it's available. He's going to continue to just focus him down, and that is it. 125 seconds. You are not getting back into this game. 23 rewarded for his patience this time. We got a tidal wave everybody into the fountain here. <laughs> that is the play. I mean, you can still slowly keep them back here thanks to the Arc Warden. It is quite annoying, but eventually they will be able to bring down these towers. Tier 3 bottom, it's gone. Now we got to focus up on these lanes of barracks, but again, the magnetic field is just causing so much of a headache for this team. I'm telling you, that's what he was trying. He ran in, just trying to bait on FBZ to then title back. They're not falling for it. They're just going for a building. They know. Don't dive the fountain. 5v3, dude. You do not want to die. It's just going to be a clean sweep for the Mega Creeps. There's no Wind Ranger, and she is so much of your team's damage. And just like that, Aurora come from 22,000 gold behind to 17,000 ahead in Mega Creeps. Lorna goes in, blinks Dragon Tail. On to the Kunkka. They're thinking of playing with him, and they will. Hex does manage to catch jabs, though. His BKB on cooldown for 20 seconds. 23 goes in aggressively. He can't get away. Kunkka just being dragged back in constantly from the Razor. They get the kill. Ollie with a freezing field here to zone them off as they focus for the Tier 4 towers. And now with those staggered death timers and no buybacks coming out anytime soon, that might just be game two going the way of Aurora, the throne. Being protected as much as they can here from Sumail. No Tempest double for three more seconds. The base that's fallen in fast. The classic Tempest double. But Lord of, he can just fly on top of the throne. He can do the damage here. Jabs with BKB. Going to pull the Arc Warden back in. And that is it. Game two will tie up the series. Pretty impressive hold to hang on. Because that was, that was looking like a very rough game for them. Um, sometimes you got to hang on and one mistake from the opponent can get you back in and you you go with that momentum sometimes you're not given that and then you lose but that's kind of why you just keep playing and seeing if the enemy messes up and i, I think nigma slipped up a little bit around that second roshan and aurora just a style that's a little bit different so it helps a lot with a life stealer to have someone to deliver the infest bomb right i'm not gonna bother i'm just gonna farm mid lane until like until focus fire comes out it's pretty tough but like if Ember has six as well. It's he just runs away. So oh. I think we're gonna have to see the rotation leading to the kills. That was sick from Sumail. But the mid top nice lane that will be the first blood. <laughs> Finally, the Crystal Maiden going down. Like you said, it's hilarious. I'm so glad Entity and a, uh, Extreme Gaming here. We might see it. Yeah. We might get to see it. I mean, Entity looks like probably the best team at running it, so it wouldn't surprise me if they do. Level 6 out in the mid lane. Lorna needs to be careful, taking a lot of damage, and he does have a Fairy Fire as well. No Slight for two seconds. He gets the kill, but bottom lane as well. A nice trade as uh, both supports go down here. Miracle. Hmm. Maybe Lifestealer before Lifestealer is 6? That window is very quickly closing, though. But he is running top. Maybe he's on the way. Yep, paced immediately. FBZ is like, I'm trying to deny as much as I can. <laughs> it's actually so close. One more creep, he'll have six. It needs to be right now. He's trying to kill to get in best. Dude, it was the one deny. Actually, he's one XP away he's from level six. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dota is a math game. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't joking when I said FBZ was trying to just get denies. Like, he actually was just focusing more on denying and then anything at that moment. Right? Like, all these little things, because it leads to situations like this, where sometimes you die or you don't die, and it can greatly impact the game. Well, that is so huge for Enigma. Slowing down this faceless, or the faces. 
the life stealer. And we're gonna see in the river here though. Four hero rotation will bring down C Mail. Massive uh, win for them as obviously he's having a great game. Mind? He really, really wants his mid tower. Though. Yeah. Just creep pulling here, trying to allow these creeps to get into the wave. Top lane 23, gonna get focus fired up. Shackle, of course, not gonna be able to prevent the TP. Matthew now in trouble. Slight change comes out, but the TPs are coming in from everybody. Slight of his dodging out a little bit. It's basically steals remnant. Matthew is out. Snowball in from Q, can't finish the job. Sumail gets it done as Lornov on the run here. FBZ trying to chase him, does have this wind pan. It throws the cyclone out, it's gonna catch. Does have a clarity running for the moment. He's gonna be just fine. They protect the mid tower. Well, if you do the rotation bottom, we'll be able to finish off the tower. Meanwhile, Miracle does the exact same rotation top. So they will just trade from tier one's mid lane. Uh, nice bait from Matthew, a stolen walrus punch. Yeah, Ember can't out. finish off the Rubik, so they will get a Blink Tusk online. Potential kill threat onto the Wind Ranger. Needs to be careful of that, but they're bringing an FBZ. <laughs> Top rune, it's gonna be bottom. So Ember Spirit will get it with ease. No, he doesn't. Matthew steals it. Never mind. And a nice shackle into the mid lane. An aggressive rotation in for Matthew. He's just got these remnants to play around. Snowball bringing them in so deep. Q trying to finish off the job, but Matthew's still alive. Dude, he has been owning on the Rubik. 2-0 and 5 now. Gonna keep building. It's one of the reasons we see this hero banned out so often. As Wally, and I do some think trouble. The... Uh, freezing field gonna buy him a little bit of time, but not nearly enough. Snowball in, dispels the root, and Q is now so far back. Very good plays there. We get to work on this mid tower here with all these creeps too. And I will say, with this Vlad plus Alpha Wolf aura, I had the storm though. No freezing pull for 20. Top lane, they're they're pinging like they want to go on Miracle Q, trying to bait and actually does kind of work. No Manta for a couple seconds, holding him in place, trying to wave from up away onto the high ground and. Oh, the vision from Lorna allows to go for the frostbite and Miracle. He is gonna die. Sick plays there from the Ember. That was looking to Kuro. It's actually a pretty valuable kill considering he's got 8,300 net worth. The smoke's gonna pop. They see the Chen. There's gonna be the Walrus Punch, the shards to trap him in place. Kuro pops the mech. End of God will be available. He's not gonna commit it, so they get the kill. Very worth it. Dude, he has he he bought out drums and and has shard. Yeah, this Ancient Golem is running like so much extra HP. They're gonna keep going for more. Scan does scout them out. They finish the Roche just in time. Can everyone just TP out? They actually just make... Ooh, the he doesn't get the chain. He doesn't go for the slide off. They are all out. Quick TP from Nigma. Honestly, he's not gonna find another Ancient Creep on the right side there, but... FBZ walking aggressively onto the high ground here. Will find 23. He's got a Rage available. He's gonna be forced to use it, try and TP on out. He will be able to do so. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I think so. I mean, you, you lost the tower so fast. Yeah, I mean, Miracle's hitting for like 350 damage with all these auras behind him. Yeah, good old Vlad. One of the best auras for a Morphling. And he also has the uh, Alpha Wolf. So, doing a ton of work here. Oh, that static one gets not gonna last. Only gets 13 damage. FBZ does have the ult available. Like you said, Root does not stop him and yeah, just immediately throws it. They get the shackle out onto Lauren of Remnants back up to the high ground. He's gonna be safe. Q has an infested life stealer here, thinking maybe we can find an opening, but Blink on cooldown for five more seconds. They finish off the tier three tower. A great soul and slight chains onto three. That's what you're looking for. Crystal Man's gonna buy back. They get the walrus punch onto Miracle. That Aegis. Likely to expire here in just a moment. Does he have? He doesn't have mana for a waveform, but they're actually just too tanky. He makes it out, looking for the Brewmaster now. Stolen or beautiful shards trapping him, but again, a Glypeer just trapping three heroes down. A freezing field here from Ollie trying to do his work, but Miracle still finds the kill. And FBZ is still super healthy. How is he alive? Telekinesis pulls him back. Three dead. Aurora. You're gonna lose two lanes of racks, if not more. Okay, well, Morphling, Aegis down. 
<laughs> I don't think he Oops. cares. I think yeah. he's fine. He's like, I want to go clean Full up. health anyways. Yeah. Uh, Aurora was able to take it. I don't think Aurora has the same tools they had last time, but Nygma can still play it out smart, get the next Roche. Maybe gonna find the FBZ kill. Yeah, it's just God God Primal split. split back up, and guess what? Now you're fighting a Sumail. FBZ oh, is close field. to a word and miracle, just chasing down jabs, gets the kill of Freezing Field, like you said. Does a little bit of work, but it was stolen from Matthew. And he just walks the dog. Lifestealer goes down, and four die on this gank, and there's the GG. They know this is over. That's actually it. Chen once again proving to be just an unstoppable force.